This is a higher H-A-I-E-R television, 55 inch, model 55E5500U with a busted screen. I picked this up free off of Facebook Marketplace. Obviously, it cannot be fixed. The most expensive replacement part in these are usually the LCD panel, so it's not worth fixing. But I also picked up this same exact model on Facebook Marketplace that doesn't turn on. So most likely it's the power board or main board, but in either case, I have two models of the exact same TV, so I'll just be first putting the switching the power board out and seeing if it turns on. What I like to do when I do this is the most broken television, in this case the one with the broken screen, I like to take apart first. So if I make any mistakes taking it apart, it is the mistakes aren't made on the better television. If I can get this working for free, that'll be nice. Okay, after removing a ridiculous amount of screws to get the back off of this television, you can see there's not too much in there. So, interestingly, this was not connected to anything. But uh, you'll see the power board there and the main board there which is basically the computer of the TV. And we have other parts, but this is the main one I'm concerned about. So I'll take this off and put it in the other TV. We are now into the second television, the one with the screen that isn't cracked but won't turn on. So it's a suspected power board so we're going to try that and see what happens. After that, we'll try the main board if the power board does not work. All right, I've gone ahead and switched out the power board. And I put the back on, but only with five screws in case it doesn't turn on and I have to take it apart again and switch out the other board. So fingers crossed. The power button is on the TV itself. and it is not turning on. So, yeah, let's change out the main board. Now we have our two main boards side by side. This is the one from the TV with the broken screen that turned on, and this is the one on the TV that doesn't turn on. There are five screws on this board, and make sure to take pictures of where the wires go before you start taking them off, so you know how to put them back on. Be very careful with this one ribbon wire. This is the main board from the broken screen TV and the TV that wouldn't turn on. And I also switched out the power board, as you remember. I found with this board, it was important to take this screw and this screw off and take this um, metal bar off to get the card off correctly. But it was nothing but two tiny extra screws. And uh, it was good I took a picture of how it was set up because this uh, ribbon wire, I didn't quite have it in all the way. And I looked back at my picture and it showed me how far in it was and I was able to get it back in that way. If you've ever fixed like an iPhone or anything, you know, how tricky those ribbon wires can be and delicate. All right, so uh, time to put the back on and see if it turns on. When putting the back on, I recommend putting the bottom on first because there's this little sensor wire that needs to be connected as you're putting it back together. Again, I put the back on the TV with five screws only, plugged it in, and let's see what happens. Hey, hey, hey! I would say that's successful. All right. So next thing to do is test it. 
So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Come on, Trace, take me with you. I hooked up a Blu-ray player to it to, it to Go on. check and wish me luck for the quality. Tonight. I'll turn the volume down. I'll see you later. I'll mute the volume so we don't get any copyright infringements. But yeah, it's a TV. So for no money and about an hour's worth of tinkering, we have a 55 inch TV. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Albie. I'll see you later.